After weeks of trying to have a death row inmate, Brandon Bernard's sentencing commuted to no avail, Kim Kardashian shares a series of emotional tweets following his execution. As you may have already heard, over the last several weeks, Kim Kardashian was actively campaigning to have a death row inmate, Brandon Bernard's sentence commuted. Unfortunately, despite pleading with President Donald Trump via Twitter and urging her followers to do the same, Bernard was executed on the evening of December 10. Kardashian kept her fans apprised every step of the way, sharing a series of emotional tweets detailing her last conversation with the deceased. Back in April 2019, Kim Kardashian shared a detailed explanation on Instagram, outlining her plans to take the bar exam in 2022 and become a lawyer, and since then, the reality star has quietly helped free 17 low-level drug offenders. This year, she began dabbling in more challenging cases, like that of 40-year-old Brandon Bernard, who had been in prison since he was 18 years old. With just hours remaining until his execution, presumably feeling defeated, Kardashian took to social media yesterday to share an emotional tribute to Bernard, asking her followers one last time to tweet President Trump and ask him to commute Bernard's sentence. Been crying all morning. Brandon Bernard will be executed in six hours, she tweeted. With each passing hour, her tweets became increasingly emotional, right up until the end just spoke to Brandon for what will likely be the last time. Hardest call I've ever had. Brandon, selfless as always, was focused on his family and making sure they are okay. He told me not to cry because our fight isn't over, she wrote. When he told me he's claustrophobic and they offered to give him a shot of sedative to calm him down before they put him in the chair and he just didn't want to panic, I literally lost it. I had to mute my phone so he wouldn't hear me cry like that. I'm so messed up right now. They killed Brandon. He was such a reformed person. So hopeful and positive until the end. More importantly, he is sorry. So sorry for the hurt and pain he has caused others. She wrote in another thread, going into more detail. 